Hey guys, this is Test 57 Game 2. This is the Actors game. It's an ordering game. We know this because we have the days of the week, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, on which we're going to have the six actors, G, G, O, O, and R, R. Of course, that's really only three actors, each one going twice. Now, they tell us that O1 is before R1, so I put down O1-R1 with O on the left, which, of course, allows us to infer that R can never be on Wednesday, because then how could O come before it? However, O could still be on Saturday if it was the second O. They also tell us that there's at least one day on which G and R both go, so I put down GR with 1x slash 2x, meaning once or twice. Now, the final rule tells us there's at least one person going on both Thursday and Saturday. Now that person could be G or O or R, so I actually use this final rule to create three different main diagrams based upon whether it's G, O, or R being the person who definitely goes on both Thursday and Saturday. So here are the three main diagrams. Now, if we had O on Thursday, that would be the first O since the second O would be on Saturday, so R would have to be on, on Friday as well as on Saturday, this would be R1, this would be R2. Now, we know that we ha always have to have at least one person going on Wednesday, and our two O's and two R's are already used up. Therefore, we will have to have G on Wednesday. That would be the first G, of course, and the second G will be on either Friday or Saturday. So you could put down you know, G slash on Friday and then slash G on Saturday to represent that, to represent that rule. Now, on the bottom diagram, where we have R on Thursday and Saturday, we know that we will have to have O1 coming before R on Thursday, which is the first R, so I put down O on Wednesday here. So these are our three different main diagrams for the game, encompassing all possibilities. Now question number six is a typical orientation question. We're just taking one rule at a time and applying that rule to all five choices looking for violations. Now we know that we always have to have O1 before R1, so any choice without that is automatically bad. Now, we see that choice, choice C has O on Thursday, yet has R on Wednesday, and that's the first O that's on Thursday, so this is violating the rule, and C can be eliminated as a result. We also have the rule that we always have to have GR occurring once, at least once or, twi once or twice, scanning through the choices. We see that in choice E, G and R are never on the same day. That's unacceptable, so E can be eliminated. Now we also know that we always have to have at least one of the actors occurring on both Thursday and Saturday, and looking at choice A, we have neither actor doing that, so A can be eliminated as a result. Now we're down to B and D, both of them seem fine so far, but if you look a little bit more closely, you'll find that choice D is bad, because D does not mention Friday at all, and every day has to have at least one actor on it, so D can be eliminated, leaving B as our answer for number 6. Next, number 7, if we had O on both Thursday and Saturday. So we're referring to the middle diagram here. For certain, the bottom diagrams are relevant because O is on Wednesday there. We're not going to use that one. The top two are potentially relevant. I mean, we haven't fleshed out fully what's happening on the top one yet, but the middle one certainly has O on Thursday and Saturday for certain. So when could we have G going on both? So G has to go on Wednesday, then could go on Friday or Saturday as well. So it's Wednesday and Friday, or it's Wednesday and Thursday. Now, Wednesday and Saturday is not a choice, but Wednesday and Friday is, so as a result, we know that choice B is good for number seven. Next, looking at number eight, general cannot be true question. So four of these things could be true, one cannot be true. You could find the four that could be true and eliminate them, and whatever remains is your result, or if you see something good, just pick it and move on. So, so could we have G's last on Thursday? Not in the top two diagrams, but in the bottom one, we could have G on Wednesday and Thursday, then have O on Friday and be totally good. So for that reason, A is possible and is gone. Looking at B, G is last on Friday. That could easily happen in the middle diagram, G Wednesday and Friday, so B is gone. Next, looking at C, O is last on Saturday. Middle diagram, definitely possible to have O on Saturday there, so C is gone. Looking at D, R is last on Friday. Couldn't happen in the bottom, couldn't happen in the middle, but could happen on the top. We could have R on Friday and Thursday to be with G, have O here and then have O going again somewhere else. So for that reason, D is possible as well. Looking at E though, R is last on Thursday. That could never work in any of these diagrams because that would require R to be on Wednesday and Thursday, and we know that O has to come before the first, O has to come before the first R. So for that reason, 
we need to have at earliest r is last on Friday, so e is impossible and is our answer to number eight. Next, number nine, what can't be the two days that o goes? So we know that o cannot go too late due to the fact that o is before the first r, so we can't have o going on like Friday and Saturday, of course, but that's not a choice, unfortunately. So we'll just run through the other choices. O on Wednesday and Thursday, as we just saw, that would work perfectly fine. We could have O on Wednesday and Thursday over here, then have G on Friday and G on Saturday, like in the bottom diagram. Two O's, two R's, two G's. We have GR. We have O1 before R1. Totally good. Therefore, A is eliminated for number nine. Looking at B, O on Wednesday and Friday, if we just took this O and you know moved it over one from the bottom diagram, still totally good works perfectly fine, so for that reason, B is gone. Looking at C, if we had O on Wednesday and Saturday, so I could take O once again, move it over to Saturday on this bottom diagram, works perfectly fine, complying still with everything, so C is gone. Looking at D though, O on Thursday and Friday, we would run into a problem. O needs to be on Wednesday in this diagram, so O on Thursday and Friday, this diagram is irrelevant. Here we have O on Thursday and Saturday, that's irrelevant too. On the bottom diagram, O on Thursday and Friday, the only place that could ever happen. But then, how do we have R? We have R here, we have R here, for O1 to go before R1 and for G and R to go together. There's nobody going on Wednesday, and we need an actor on every single day. So for that reason, D is impossible, and is our answer to number 9. Of course, E we see O on Thursday and Saturday right there in the middle diagram. So E is gone, leaving D. Next, looking at 10, general, could be true question. Once again, we'll just you know run through the choices. So could we have all three people on Wednesday? So where could that happen? Middle diagram is obviously not possible because we have, you know, we already have O's and R's used up later. There's no one to go on Wednesday to be all three. We only have G there. We also have two G's on Thursday, Saturday, so G can't go Wednesday. On the bottom diagram, R's can't go on Wednesday because R's never on Wednesday anyway because we have to have, you know, at least one person going both Thursday and Saturday Therefore, we could never have that person who goes Thursday, Saturday, go Wednesday as well. So A is definitely impossible and eliminated. Looking at B, all three on Friday. Once again, same problem. We always have at least one of the G, O, or R going Thursday, Saturday. So whoever does that in any of these diagrams could never go Friday as well. So for that reason, B is gone. Looking at C, all three on Saturday, we see that right here in the middle diagram most clearly, G, R, O. Therefore, we know it's possible and sees our answer for 10. Looking at D and E, though, just to be thorough, O on Friday, Saturday, that can't ever work because then we wouldn't be able to have both of the R's coming after. For example, just to use this diagram here, if O was Friday, Saturday, we could have R1 on Saturday, but then where does R2 go? R2 wouldn't be able to fit, so D is gone for that reason. Looking at E, R Wednesday and Friday, R is never Wednesday on any of these diagrams due to the fact that O1 is before R1. So E's gone as well, leaving C. Finally, number 11, if G was Wednesday, Saturday. So top diagrams are relevant due to the fact that one of our G's is on Thursday there. G Wednesday, Saturday could easily happen in the middle diagram. We could just choose G for Saturday in particular. And on the bottom diagram, we could have G Wednesday here, G Saturday there. We've satisfied G R. Then we have Friday empty, so we'll have to put O there to be complete. So both of these diagrams are relevant here. What could be true? O Wednesday, Thursday, you know we have O Thursday, Saturday, or O Wednesday, Friday, so A is gone. Looking at B, O Wednesday, Friday, of course, we see you right here in the bottom diagram, so that's good. B is our answer for 11. I will go through the rest, though. O Wednesday, Saturday isn't happening in either diagram, so C is gone. Looking at D, R Wednesday, Saturday, of course, R is never Wednesday, so D is gone. And then finally, E, R Thursday, Friday, we see R Thursday, Saturday, and R Thursday, on our Thursday, Friday, but not Thursday, Friday, on our Thursday, Saturday, but not our Thursday, Friday, so E's gone leaving D.